I run a TV show, which is uh, Mundine Means Business, which is promoting uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses and, and showing Aboriginal uh, and Torres Strait Islander entrepreneurs. So given this positive side of what people are doing out there in, across this great country of ours and uh, some amazing, incredible Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders and that. So it's not the negativity that you see in the Sydney and Melbourne Canberra media. It is actually some great, incredible Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. It's promoting this amazing stuff that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are doing and, and employing their people and training them and building a future from them. They're actually creating their own future. They're not waiting uh, for government or anyone else. They're actually going out there and challenging it. And this is the stuff I love and, and love to do. And part of that, of course, I run uh, several businesses as well, you know, uh, through the mining and energy industry, as well as employment and training and stuff. So these are the things I love. I just love seeing Aboriginal people, young and old, who are out there, Torres Strait Islander people, who are doing incredible stuff. Some of the people I've met across Australia, it's just a blessing for me. But that's the other thing I love about my job. People say to me, gee, I'm looking younger as I get older. All I've got to say, I must have been an ugly kid, number one. Number two is I just love the work that I'm doing because you get to go into these communities, you get to hear their stories, you sit and listen to their stories, and the energy and passion they have about working and creating economic uh, prosperity for their communities, making their uh, communities economically viable for the future in themselves. And also they do it in, in their own culture. This is the interesting thing. Okay, like I had a conversation with, with a group up in North East Arnhem Land, they're the, the young people, and, that, and they're, saying, they're saying, look, we do it our way. We do, we're doing business which is seen as Ballander, white man's way, but we do it our way. Yes, we do take on those corporate ideas, those business ideas, but it's done within our culture. And this is the stuff that I love. And it's really great because we're changing people's attitude. I just love getting emails and text messages from people saying we love seeing the shows you're putting out here. Shows similar in, in that to what you are doing here, you are probably doing it better, but it's some of these amazing stories uh, and, they're, and they're actually changing their attitude. You know, I got one email that said, oh, look, I just thought there's only a few good Aboriginals out there, but after watching and seeing on your show some of this stuff, the majority of Aboriginals are great people, and this is what I love. And getting that type of message to me shows that we're actually changing people's attitude and, and really promoting the stuff that's happening on a day-to-day -day basis within the Aboriginal community. Well, this is what they're doing. I always said that business is, is, is a culture of its own, in a sense. The Chinese do it, but they're still Chinese. The Japanese do it, they're still Japanese. The Africans do it, they're still African. And this is a global thing. And so when people say, oh, this is, this is Ballander business, this is white man's business, no, it's not. This is our business. We can do uh, things, similar things to what the, the white people are doing, but we do it our way. So when we run businesses and we run companies and organisations, we do it our cultural way. And of course, you do it for all the different many cultures across Australia. You do it as, as, as up in the north, in the northwest, the northeast, you see it in the, how the, the Torres Strait Islander people do it. They do it all their unique ways of doing things. And this is the only way that you can really get, move ahead. In fact, I was talking to Alison Page only a few weeks ago, the famous Aboriginal designer and, and that, and, and she said, economic prosperity is the new social justice. So getting jobs for our people, getting, which is then gives us money and building businesses, is able to get our people educated. Yes, we have to do the math, sciences and everything else, but also our languages, our culture, and all that stuff within our own education systems. And this is what you're, you're seeing. You're seeing these roots growing up from all over across Australia. Look, in the next 10 to 20 years, God bless it, I'll be still around. I'd just love to see you know, where that takes us.